gatekeeping overhaul to the college sports landscape started to take shape today. The NCAA is now allowing student athletes to operate as a business. Marketing companies can now work with college athletes to help them make some money on the side while still playing as amateurs. LEX 18's Michael Burke and Maggie Davis checked in with some former Wildcats who probably could have cashed in well back in the day. Michael begins our big story team coverage at five. It is official. At the start of the new month, it's a whole new ball game for college athletes. To use a sports term, the momentum has shifted. Beginning today, college athletes across the Commonwealth will now be able to market and sell their name, image, and likeness in accordance with the governor's order and a recent U.S. Supreme Court ruling. Dante Allen is the first domino at UK to fall as he's already signed on with the player's trunk and the company is already selling t-shirts and hoodies with his name and image emblazoned on the front. And Jacob Toppin and several other players have signed on with a company called Cameo. UK plans to help its student athletes with this process and who knows, it might even reduce the sense of urgency some feel to jump to the pros so quickly. So how much could someone like Jeff Shepard have earned while helping the 1996 and 98 teams win the national title? Not even Jeff knows the answer to that. I'm sure there would have been some some unique opportunities, and I'm sure, uh, especially in the '90s, you know, we were we were winning a lot of ball games and winning championships, and I'm sure uh, some businesses and some fans and some schools and some events and you know would have would have enjoyed uh, having the players there you know we we did those things yeah. we, we went to schools we spoke at churches and we traveled around and we did different things and we had a blast with it now with the college football players you don't have that same sense of urgency to jump to the pros because the nfl doesn't allow it until you've completed your third year of school or your age corresponds with three years after your high school graduation but still for everybody on campus the student athletes this is the chance they've been waiting for fighting for for a very long time. In Lexington, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.